And this is one of the craziest things I've seen in my life. A smart bench. We were just listening to music in this bench. And here we have the Polish pierogi. We're going to try them out. They're really hot because they have been just prepared. Hello and welcome back to my channel once again. Thank you very much for watching. Today we are in Wieliczka. This is a town which is located just 15 kilometers away from the center in Krakow and it's mostly popular because there is a salt mine here. But we're going to do something different because we're going to try to find out if it is worth visiting Wieliczka if you don't go to the salt mine. I've been to the salt mine before but we're going to try to explore a bit to walk around and see what interesting things this city has to offer. So let's do it. 20 minutes earlier and today is quite cold and windy but not as other days because today the temperature is about 3 degrees but today is even okay because there are some days in which the temperature is below zero and it takes a long time for the car to heat up today it feels okay inside but in some occasions you're driving to a place which is just five minutes away from your home and the car is not gonna get any temperature whatsoever so I don't like those days when it's super cold and it's going to be a fast drive because Velitska is just 10 kilometers away from our place so that means that it's gonna take us around 15 minutes it's possible to go through the highway but we are going to go through the normal road And it was not difficult for us to find parking here in Vialitska. In Krakow, on the other hand, it's much more difficult to find parking, but not impossible. Because I heard someone telling me that in Madrid, it is just impossible for you to take your car. I have never driven in Madrid, but I'm taking the word from the person who told me that it's barely impossible for you to find parking there. Instead, in Krakow, you can. Could be difficult sometimes, but you might find parking. And we usually drive the car when we go to Krakow and we like parking near the center, so difficult but not impossible. And Velitska dates back to the 13th century and it was mainly a mining center because as I mentioned earlier, there is a salt mine. This salt mine is not functional anymore and it is just 15 kilometers away from the center of Krakow. As you can see here, it's visible that the salt mine is the most representative thing of this small town. As you can see there, there are also statues of some miners, which there are four. He is quite tall. The second one, also quite tall. The third one, I'm happy because I'm taller than him. And the last one. Now, Bielitska has a population of 27,000 inhabitants. A lot of people who live here commute every day to Krakow, which is super close. So Bielitska is a bit of a more affordable option and you still live right next to Krakow. Especially if you want to live in a house, because if you want to live in a flat, I think that Krakow could be a good option. But people who have families already kids, they still want to live near Krakow. So they might buy a place in Bielitska and have everything they need and a house to live in. Interestingly, it is Sunday and there are not a lot of people here. In fact, I don't think there's anyone but us in the market square. I guess people are still sleeping. I don't know, it's after 1 p.m. Or maybe people just rather going to Krakow. And we are in the park which is called Pod Baranem, which means under the lamp i don't know where that name comes from but that's how it's called and as you can see there's a playground right there for the kids there is also an outdoor gym i've never worked out in an outdoor gym please let me know in the comments if you have and even less during winter i don't know if someone actually comes here to work out during winter but it exists oh my god i hope i don't fall down okay now as you can see i don't know if this actually works maybe if i keep doing this for some time it's going to have some effect on me but i have actually never seen anyone working out in one of these things i've seen kids playing please let me know down in the comments if you've ever worked out in an outdoor gym or if you've ever seen someone working out you can see on the background 
it's so cold that the water is even frozen so you can have an idea of how cold it is i don't think it froze from last night to today it's just it's been like that because the weather it's freezing as i always say freezing and there is quite a steep hill right here but we're noticing that it's possible to get a view from the town so i'm guessing that all the way up it's gonna be much better so we're heading there it's not very long but this is just a proof that i need to improve my condition because oh i'm so tired already and we reached the platform and i guess this is the place where you can get a view from the town and i'm glad i was able to fly the drone although i had a warning that told me that the drone was not able to return home safely by itself and related to that we have a funny experience with my brother the first time that we were flying the drone we didn't know that the drone returns home automatically when the battery is about to die so we were flying the drone and then the battery was going to die as you guessed so the drone automatically started returning home to the place where it had taken off but there were trees on top so it went up it crashed and we had that accident the first time yes the first time we were flying the drone and this is one of the craziest things i've seen in my life have you ever thought about i don't know a smartphone a smart tv there are even smart refrigerators but have you ever heard about a smart bent you heard that well it's a smart bent which has a solar panel you can charge your phone and you can even listen to music yes my friend we were just listening to music in this bench i'm not gonna play a song because i don't want to hit copyright but i'm going to play one of my youtube videos so you can see that this is a smart bent i'm about to play my last video in neapolomice in a bench yes in a bench but we're going to go to the top for can me, you can honestly, you hear that it's incredible that in small towns yeah. like this one there are such places i would give a special mention when it's snowing can you hear that the forest looks just incredible hello good morning and welcome back to my channel once again please my friends let me know down in the comments if you have ever seen a smart bench in your life and if you keep walking on the park you're going to arrive to the church of saint sebastian this is a church which dates back to the 16th century and i was reading inside that it was built on 1581 imagine how old this church is and in the inside is colorful and i'm um, actually really surprised that we we found this place we were not expecting it and i think it's a nice surprise because it's beautiful inside And we're going to eat pierogi in the pierogarnia gen dobre it's got a lot of great reviews on google and we're going to find out if that is true and in this place it resembles like a polish home because as you can see here there is a tv there are some records and the decoration as this furniture is just like a polish home Here we have the Polish pierogi. I ordered pierogi ruskie, which uh, is the most traditional type of pierogi. They are made with potato, onion, and cottage cheese. Now, what are pierogi? How can I explain to you what pierogi are? Well, pierogi are boiled dough with fillings, and there are different types of fillings. The most traditional one, as I said, is the one with potato, onion, and cottage cheese, but there is also popular with meat, with mushrooms. It is popular with spinach, also with strawberry and blueberry. So there are different kinds. And I want to say that this is something that every Polish person loves and especially kids you know i've worked with kids and i can tell you that whenever it is about pierogi they love it we're going to try them they are covered with fried onion on top and lard which gives it a, a nice flavor now we're going to try them out and they're really hot because they have been just prepared mm. Mm fantastic they're amazing <laughs> my god they're really good they were worth it because i want to say that it's written on the entrance slow food and i think they took it a bit too literal because we were waiting 40 minutes for this now i want to say that they're worth it because they're delicious this restaurant has a lot of reviews on google and i think I would recommend it but you have to take into consideration that you're gonna wait 30 40 minutes for your food but believe me that they are fantastic so good I have to say that the streets are quite colorful. I have mentioned that on an earlier video when I visited Vadovice, the hometown of the Pope. You can see the video right there. But yes, the towns are colorful and cozy. And I really like that when I walk 
in the Polish town. And because it's Sunday, all the shops are closed and not because they want to, but because they must. There is a law that says that shops must be closed on Sundays. You can find out more about that on this video of 10 things that surprised me a lot in Poland. Right behind me is the church, the church of St. Clemenza. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go and record inside because it's Sunday and I'm sure that a lot of people are there in mass right now, but at least we can see it from the outside. There's a small park behind the church and there is a statue of Adam Mickiewicz. Now, who was Adam Mickiewicz? He was a very famous Polish author and poetist. I don't know exactly all the things he wrote, but I know that he wrote Pantadeus, which is a book that kids have to read in school. And I know that most of them don't like this book. And uh, I remember that one person once told me that apparently there are memes of Adam Mickiewicz. I don't know how, I don't know who started that. I remember that in Guatemala I also had to read some books when I was in primary school and in high school I wanted to read other stuff but not precisely those books that we had to read in school and analyze and ah uh. and my dear friends I have to say that Galicka is a beautiful place I know that most tourists come here because of the salt mine and it's understandable because it is the most emblematic place from Galicka but I have to mention that walking around I noticed that it's a cozy town, colorful and I think it's worth visiting. Of course, if you have just a couple of days in Krakow, I would recommend you to stay in Krakow, come to the salt mine and explore more because probably you're going to find more historical places in Krakow. But if you have some time to spare, I would definitely recommend you to pay a visit to this small town because you're definitely not going to be disappointed so i really thank you once again for watching my video make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe and i'll see you on the next adventure and greetings from someone who played music on a smart bench